Hi and welcome. Today we're going to be flying the Beechcraft King Air 350i in a quick start guide. We'll also be doing an ILS landing. So let's get started. Let's start the plane. Toggle the yoke visibility. Go down here. Turn on battery. Now go down to here and start the right engine. Now start the left engine. I'm going to look at the information up here. Now turn on the left gen and the right gen. While we're waiting, we're going to turn on the left P dot heater and the right P dot heater. We can also put on our taxi light and our navigation light. We can put our beacon, our strobe and our tail flood light. Now look at the ITT. If there is a little white triangle in the ITT in the green zone in both, we can go back down to here and switch the ignition to off and switch the ignition on the left to off. Now turn on the avionics switch. Parking breaker switch is down here. Left click that once. Now you can taxi and you're ready to go. The plane has started. How easy was that? Today we're going to be landing at runway 35 left. We can see at Nogi, we need to be at 5,000. At Fobok, we need to be at 4,000. At Fitem, we need to be at 3,000. At Spur, we need to be at 1,600. The glide slope today is 3 degrees. We can also see the ILS frequency up here, 110.5. is a touch screen. In this area, we need to be able to click anywhere in here. Let's click, click once. It'll bring up this information. We're going to change the CDI source to FMS. Now, to exit out, left click here on the HSI. Go up to the top right, left click on split. Then in the bottom here, in the middle, it will say FPL. Left click that once. Then we want to click on nav frequency 1. We can now enter a nav frequency. To enter your nav frequency, you are simply putting in 11050 for our frequency today. Click on transfer and you'll notice it should say active frequency 110.50. Click cancel to exit out and then push full in the top right to exit out back to full screen. We need to do one more thing. Under audio, left click once, and you'll notice it says nav radios. Left click once on nav radio. It should now be in green. Left click again on audio to exit out. Before we take off, increase your selected altitude to 6000. Use the mouse wheel while hovering above it and scroll the mouse wheel around. The number will change over here. Now an important step. Down here we need to increase the two propellers all the way to the top. Right propeller and left engine propeller. Now taxi out, take off and climb. Some of the autopilot buttons. First we need to click the autopilot. This button over here to engage autopilot. Now we need to click on nav mode to turn nav mode on. And then we need to click on the yaw damper. Finally, we need to click on VS over here. Turn vertical speed mode on. And then we click down here to increase the vertical speed. You can notice it will move this little object here and the plane will increase by itself up to 6000. When it reaches 6000 altitude, it will go back to altitude hold, and it will do that by itself. Now sit back and enjoy the flight. We now need to decrease the aircraft altitude to 4000. Between Nogi and Fobuck, we need to click some buttons in the plane. the aircraft altitude, hover above the altitude wheel 
and use the mouse wheel to change the number. The number we're changing is over here. We're changing it to 4000. Then we're going to click on VS over here, turn vertical speed mode on, and then we're going to click on down, decrease vertical speed. You'll notice the plane will now start to descend. It's going to descend at 1200 and it will take us down to 4000. Realism was not on the objective of this video. This video is designed for entertainment and fun only. Plane is now coming up to Nogi. We need to click two buttons in the plane. The first button we have to click is up here, the approach button. Left click once on approach. Then we need to go down to here. We left click once on the HSI and it pops up the options. We want to change the HSI or CDI source here to LOC1. So it will now say in here LOC1 under PFD options and also over here. To exit out we can simply click back here on the HSI your flaps and your gear to get ready for landing. We are landing at runway 35 left Orlando International Airport. The target landing speed for today is 110. Now we only have to click one button to disable the autopilot and then we can hand fly the plane in to land. At the moment the plane is still on the autopilot. Disable the autopilot. And then flare to land. Push F2 on the keyboard to use the reverse. And then use the wheel brakes to come to a stop. You are now safely on the ground. Taxi to parking. To shut down the plane quickly, pull the mixture control for the right down to cut off and the left engine to cut off for the mixture. Go over to here, turn the right gen off, the left gen off, the battery off and then the avionics. The plane will now be shut down. Excellent work. If you found this video entertaining or helpful, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate all subscriptions. You can also comment and like the video. No pixels were harmed in the making of this video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.